For those of you just joining, I'm Alex Komorowski, your product manager in Chrome's Open Web Platform team. And I wanted to show you a few examples of some of the cool stuff you can do on the cutting edge of the web platform. Now, the web platform is already immensely powerful, but it's learning entirely new classes of capabilities. So let's say you want to make a photo booth app. Well, you're out of luck, right? Because you can't access the webcam. Wrong. In fact, in true web platform fashion, it requires minimal code. So here I have a video uh, that will autoplay, and I have a minimal script that will connect up the video tag up to the stream. And that gives me this, which is my face live in the browser, uh, my webcam being captured and displayed right in the browser. But of course, it's just a normal video element, so if I wanted to, I could make myself, uh, let's say, uh, rotate in 3D space with the transform. There, my face rotating in 3D space live in the browser. I could also, of course, go for more of a hipster effect and say, add a sepia effect, a filter of sepia. And there we go. I'm rotating uh, with a sepia effect, kind of a hipster vibe going. Of course, it's just a simple example, um, but with a little bit more effort, you can do some really cool stuff. So here is a really cool photo booth app that's running in HTML5. Um, it's got a lot of neat effects, um, but I think my favorite is the kaleidoscope, which is kind of mind-blowing. Okay, so that's, that's some of the cool stuff you can do with web, webcam. Let's talk about audio. So historically, audio has been kind of hard to do in the web platform. It required you to do things like use Flash. But now there's actually some very powerful audio APIs available in the web platform. So here is an example of uh, the Web Audio API, which is in Chrome. It allows you to connect up with some context, create a source, uh, create a filter node, connect the source to the filter. You can do arbitrarily complex graphs, and also play back sounds on very specific timing, which is really important for things like games. Now, this basic API allows things like this, which is one of my favorite examples. It's called Plink. It uh, will generate audio live in the browser uh, on client side, um, so I can make all kinds of cool sounds. But the other important thing here is that these other people who are playing music live here, I have no idea who they are. They're just random people on the internet. Um, we're using real-time communications to send the, our movements back and forth to each other and playing music dynamically together. Really, really cool stuff. This is another example. It's uh, DJ Breakpoint, we call it. Just a quick, simple example, uh, pulling together a number of these technologies we've talked about. So uh, normally I'd have another friend playing around with this, but I don't have any friends. Or I guess I don't have any friends online right now, so I'll just have two windows open here side by side. But I've got uh, real-time chat here. You can see that it shows up immediately on both sides. And if I want to play music, it's really simple. I can just drag a, a music file from my desktop. Uh, that will upload on both sides. And once it's uploaded, it will start playing on both sides. And we'll see visualization of it going on on both sides. So you can see we've got a really cool visualization here that looks really nice. It's also got a reflection, if you look closely. The other thing to notice, and just a second, my avatars are warming up a little bit here, I think. But in just a second, you'll see them start um, dancing. There we go. You can see my avatar starting dancing along with the beat. So analyzing the sound, figuring out where the beat is, and bouncing along with it. Some really neat stuff. OK, so that's, that's audio. What about something harder like 3D? So this is a uh, example that's running live in the browser. Uh, it's a very complicated scene with complicated physics. I can make ripples in the water, uh, very complicated lighting effects. This is running directly in the browser with no plugins. It's JavaScript and WebGL. Really amazing stuff here. But let's say you're a game developer, and you've already spent a lot of time to build your app for another platform, and you want to bring it to the web platform. What will we have you covered? Native Client is a technology built directly into Chrome that allows you to take existing code bases and port them to the web platform with no plugins and with a robust security model. So this is AirMech. It's a really cool game. Um, it's in alpha right now. It's using Native Client to run natively in Chrome. Uh, it originally came from an existing code base, was ported to, the, uh, to Native Client with minimal effort. It's got amazing 3D graphics. You can shoot around. Um, you can turn into a transformer dude for some reason. Not really sure why. Um, but the other cool thing about this is I'm actually controlling it using a wireless game controller live. So let's take a step back. This is a game with amazing 3D graphics, ported from an existing code base with minimal effort, and using a wireless controller, all uh, running natively on the web platform without any plugins. That's all the examples I have for today. The web platform is capable of crazy, amazing, mind-blowing stuff. It's evolving incredibly quickly, and I just can't wait to see where it goes next. Thanks.